How was up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? It's D Boss. We're to this uh, vid by Chick Smooth. It's titled Joe Button Attacks Drake for pressing DeMar DeRozan at Raptors Game over Kendrick Lamar music video. Oop, oop. I need to start listening to this podcast. I keep saying I'm going to, but I never get around to it. <laughs> but yeah, I want to hear what he has to say because I know Joe Button and Drake got this like beef that's been going on for a while now. Well, I don't know if it's an actual beef, but I just know they don't really fuck with each other. They don't like each other, so. Yeah, there's that. But yeah, let's hear what Joe had to say. Let's watch. Officially fourth quarter and Joe Budden wants all the smoke with Drake once again. Now last week, the boy Drizzy Drake pulled up on DeMar DeRozan. Drake pulled up to not right, only today. this, DeMar DeRozan, but to also... Chubbs is fine. I don't know why I never... Actually, I don't even notice him at all. I don't even know nothing about him, really. I, I would hear him mention Chubbs, but I didn't really know what he looked like until his beef. People start bringing out all these pictures and all this evidence and, you know, I'm watching all these fucking documentaries <laughs> about the history of Drake and Kendrick Beef. So they, they kept showing pictures and I'm like, oh shit, is that Chubbs? This man is fine. Check his temperature. Yes, if you ever put a, a DeRosa banner up, I'll go up there and pull it down myself. That's the answer to the question. Is that what you're going to ask? Oh, oh. Well, you know, you know it's a riot. I didn't think Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. Now this all comes after DeMar DeRozan was a part of the Not Like Us music video where Kendrick Lamar dissed Drake and also called him a PDF. A lot of people started to resurface this video where DeMar DeRozan was talking about how Drake helped him when he was in the dark spot in Toronto. You went to Drake after you were traded. What 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 did you guys talk about? Um, man, we just we just really sat there and you know the look besides basketball and everything, just the reassurance of like you know that was my that was my my partner that was a right. friend that was a friend of mine that was like man get away from everything I know it's crazy I, mean, I couldn't even turn on the TV <laughs> that day phone was going crazy. We don't know what happened there. We, between we said, uh, this we to talk for and the and not like to talk and I think more than anything, just him being there for me as a friend, right? first and foremost, you know, and, and no matter what, you know, when it comes to him, he'll forever have a friend in me, a oh. loyalty out of me, because, exactly. you know, he, he cared. Yeah, he was there for you. He was there for me when, when, when everything was just going crazy. Right. You know, I kind of just got me. Maybe, maybe Drake fucked his girl after this, and he said, fuck all that. <laughs> No, because I'm not going to make excuses for him. I definitely saw a clip from a reaction video where he came out, Damar, and was like, uh, oh, me and Drake still cool. Or he said, I, I still fuck with Drake or something like that. He tried to clean it up. So, yeah, I don't think Drake did him dirty. I think he just shady. He settled he shady, in the sense of like, you know, you're going to get past it. Don't even worry. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Initially, I was like, damn, that is kind of messed up. The man, Drizzy Drake, was there for you when you weren't feeling your best, and you turned around and shit on him. But let's be thing. honest here. Drake isn't exactly the most loyal person. Keep in mind, this is not only the same guy that smashes married women, but he also fucked Lil Wayne's ch What that got to do with DeMar DeRozan? That don't have nothing to do with him. That ain't got nothing to do with him. We don't know the details of those situations. I'm not going to sit here and judge my friends based on what happened with them and other people when I don't have all of the details and all of the facts. I might side-eye them like, mm. But I'm not going to cut them off if they are a good person to me. I'm going to side-eye them. I'm going to keep an eye out, you know, especially if they're moving weird. Probably wouldn't, if I was DeMar, I wouldn't ever bring my girl around Drake just to be, just to be safe. But I don't think you can use this as an excuse for what DeMar did. Be like, oh, well, Drake ain't loyal and he slept with Wayne's girlfriend. What the fuck they got to do with <laughs> DeMar DeRozan? I, I ain't got nothing to do with him. Check while he was locked up. Yeah. There's no honor amongst these. If Drake was a loyal person, a guy who never did know Who are you to judge this man? You, who, who is DeMar to judge this man? And be like, well, I'm about to do you dirty based on your sins against other people. What? Nobody's perfect. And sure, Drake... Is he been on some bullshit. <laughs> but no, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with this narrative. Body wrong. Then yeah, sure. I feel bad for him. But no. Drake is a person who has fucked over a whole lot of people. So maybe this was just Drake's karma. Now, yesterday on the Joe Budden podcast, episode 773, Joe Budden. Okay, that's a whole different conversation. Honestly, I feel, I feel sorry for Drake because I don't. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for him. But I'm talking about as far as DeMar DeRozan being wrong. 
I think he's in the wrong. Actually clown Drake for pulling up on the mother Rosen and just staring at him. Here's what Joe said. I, mean, I think that Drake. Drake takes not like us really, really serious as he should. Mm -hmm. And I think that's him and his people spreading that, hey, y'all niggas is dancing to some shit that's calling me a pedophile. That's not him and his people, Joe. Just hear me out. Mm -hmm. I think him and his team look at it like that. Mm -hmm. And while it could be true, I think a lot of West Coast people just took a West Coast pride in Period. that song. Mm -hmm. I, don't, <laughs> I don't think some people take that song as serious as him. I would agree. So I agree with all that. So I agree with everything you said. Mm. Rosen didn't know the extent of which Drake felt. No. It don't matter. Maybe trying to make maybe he didn't look at it like some big crossing of the no, line. And he should feel no, sure. It's, it's no. never the conflict. It's the inability to navigate conflict. Mm. It's never the conflict. How, what he did with the conflict is where I'm like, and, and not even because I've already came to the conclusions I need to come to about it, but all that standing at the game... The that ice cool. grill in the face, the, so the, the mumbling under the breath. Like, we niggas, and we respectful, so we ain't gonna say it. But, <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, it ain't, I ain't even about to try to sit here and do a bunch of unpacking. <laughs> you, <laughs> like, he went to the game and cut his eyes. <laughs> and sucked his teeth. Yeah, he fucking oh. duck lipped his way. Oh, these are the duck lips of death. This is why I like that one. Talk about duck tails. <laughs> Yeah, don't come to my game and cut eyes at me. Now, I do agree with Joe. Right. Even though Joe threw a little bit of sauce on it, I definitely wouldn't call Drake a bitch for that because what else is he supposed to do? You're the ambassador of the team, so obviously you're not going to rush to court and try to fight DeMar DeRozan. Uh, how about you sit there like an adult and take your L you lost and the nigga did you dirty and life fucking goes on? How about you do that? <laughs> sit your ass down and watch the game. You ain't even got to pay attention to him. Just ignore him and go on about your business. That's what he could have done. But what? What? <laughs> you don't stand up and act like you hard and staring him down. You and Chubb. That shit was so lame. Drake is a rapper, so That's he does what Disney rappers movie. do best. Use your words. Hey, if you guys hang his jersey up in the rafters, I'm what? climbing up there and I'm taking it down. But at the same time, mm -hmm. Drizzy, why are you pressing a goddamn basketball player? Now, I do not condone violence, but if you really wanted to impress people, pull up on actual rappers or non-basketball players that had smoke with you during your beef with Kendrick. You and Metro were supposed to be at 21 Savage's birthday party together. That would have been a perfect place and time to pull up and press Metro. Even though Metro isn't a rapper, people would have at least given they him credit for go, doing this on U.S. soil. And if you watch DeMar DeRozan, DeMar is the nicest guy ever. Yes, we all know he's tied with some cribs. He does not give off the energy like he wants to know. I want to see Drizzy pull up on Westbrook. I want to mm. see Drizzy pull up on LeBron James. Mm, These are part. definitely guys that would return the same energy to that you. Part. You guys get in the comments below. No, I agree with that. That's what makes him even more of a bitch. Because it's like, you wouldn't do this to anybody who has more aggressive energy. Like, you would not do this to a, a Draymond Green or or LeBron or, like he said, Westbrook. You wouldn't do that to none of these niggas, but you pick him to do it because he seems, like, very chill and, like, a little timid and a little, you know, like, a little reserved. So you want to do that to him and play tough. Fuck out of here. Uh, but at the same time, I don't agree with this narrative that, oh, well, Drake is not a good person. And, oh, I don't think DeMar DeRozan uh, even thought that Not Like Us was a big deal. Fuck out of here. If you are really cool with someone, he literally said, Drake has a friend in me for life. He was there for me, da, da, da. Trying to say that they were close. So if you're close with someone and they are basically celebrating your demise and celebrating a diss song against you, you're not about to be like, oh, that's fine because it's not that serious. You're you probably not even taking it that serious. Okay, we still cool. No. You're going to be like, fuck out of here. Like, what? So, I disagree with that entirely. I think that DeMar is wrong, 1,000%. But I also think Drake needs to take his L and shut up and sit down. <laughs> it's over. Let it go. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.